så kortere blubberbun. Hi everyone, my name is Garth from Arachna Tube. Uh, thanks for joining me for another one of these Spider Shop tutorials. Uh, well, we're going to have a look at a species. Now, this has got to be one of the best species uh, available in the hobby today. I remember these first being brought in as captive bred spiderlings. This is. <laughs> so, there we go. This is uh, Monocentropus balfouri. The Socotra Blue Baboon. Now these guys are old, these guys are old world spiders, meaning that um, they have uh, no urticating bristles, so they don't have any itchy hairs. But on the other hand, what they will do is uh, they will rear up and give you a threat display, and they may even bite, uh, so be careful with that. They're fast, uh, but mostly skittish, so. Um, if you have the right kind of setup for them, then uh, then they'll run and hide rather than bite you. So just as the name suggests, the Socotra blue baboon is from uh, Socotra Island uh, near Yemen or part of Yemen, is it? I'm not sure. Geography's never been my strong suit, but this is an adult female. She is absolutely gorgeous. If we check. The, uh, the light, light carapace, and then bright blue legs. Let's see if I can get some better light in there. Look at that. So these are found on Socotra Island with multiple generations of Balfouri together. Like quite a lot of spiders, you'll see smallish to large juveniles in with other egg sacs. Let's have a quick look at um, that maternal behaviour. Um, so not your average kind of baboon, even though they're called the um, Socotra blue baboon. I wouldn't say they actually have the traits of a baboon. They would much rather run quickly and hide. But she's being very, very well behaved today. Thanks guys. Uh, so my name is Gar. I'm doing this on behalf of the Spider Shop. Uh, please check out the Spider Shop's uh, YouTube channel where there'll be a lot more of these uh, instructional kind of uh, species specific videos